back, Survivor fans. The saga continues as Captain Adonis and Know-It-All DM survive on planet Omicron and beyond. This episode, we take out the last base on the moon and head back to Omicron to prepare to unveil the new capital vessel. All right. Welcome back to Imperion Galactic Survival. I'm Know-It-All DM, and today I'm hanging out with Captain Adonis on our multiplayer server. How you doing, Cap? Good, Know-It-All. How are you doing today? I'm doing actually pretty darn well today. So what's our plan for today? Well, we've only got one POI left on the moon. I figured we would take that out and then head back to Omicron to set up the... Uh, latest capital vessel that I've been working on, the Yellow Jacket, which is a tribute to the Firefly class vessel from Firefly and Serenity. Sounds great to me. Well, we're on our ships. We might as well get in these and head on over. Sounds like a plan. So I saw your uh, YouTube update. How'd the job interview go? Uh, the job interview went well. I won't know until a week from now uh, whether or not I actually got the job. But since I've had uh, experience in the uh, industry, I've, uh, I'm pretty confident. Kind of a shoe in Say what? Kind of a shoe in then? Yeah. Well, you hope. <laughs> of course, I ended up having to walk two hours to get to a five-minute interview, so... <laughs> Ouch. But hey, I could use the exercise. <laughs> And the money. Definitely. Yeah, there was a, oh, that was just a mine. I saw a drone. Yep, should be right there next to the base. I didn't get shot at at all. Did you? Yeah, they were shooting at me. I'm kind of drawing its fire. stuck near it. Alright, I'm on the ground. I'm on the ground behind the base.
Just a couple more shots ought to take out the uh, one that just blew me to smithereens. Yeah, I saw that. I was reloading my uh, sniper. It, it needs one more shot from a sniper to take it out. There's a rocket drone in the area that just killed me. Okay, I got the turret. And the spawner. There's the drone. Was that the only drone? Uh, yeah, the only one that was still left active. It was actually uh, defending one of the nearby uh, ore deposits. So... And this ought to take no more than, you know, two minutes to clear this place. Actually, uh, yeah, there's two doors here, isn't there? Yeah. Well, the other side, uh, yeah. You ready? And then there's, yep, I'm ready. I'll let you shoot the spawner. I must have missed the first time. I had to shoot five times. So that should pretty much be all the enemies. <sighs> I don't think I've ever been in this one. This is, well, we took one out identical to this the other oh, day. Oh, yeah. yeah, 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 okay. This just goes up both sides, yep. Anything specific we need? Uh, not really. I'm just de deconstructing the elevator on this side. That's why we collapsed. That's I think that's what it was. It was a uh, base just like this, and we collapsed it uh, just because it was so small. Yeah. I hear a Xerox in the area somewhere. Yeah, I do too. <laughs> too. I got him. He was hanging out on the ground over here. Well, that was exciting. You want to collapse this one too or just leave it? I'm thinking collapse it. Yeah, that's always fun. It is fun. Yeah, I like how it gives like a little lag spike and then everything explodes. And a nice flat spot to build something.
Oh, there's still a couple blocks in here. All right, it should be all gone now. So I guess we go back and uh, load up the Leo. Yeah. My ship took a little bit of a pounding from that rocket drone. It's funny, the rocket drone does about as much damage as landing on the surface does. <laughs> because the other day I was trying to get uh, the finishing resources for the yellow jacket, and uh -huh. I... And I landed on the ground, and the ship exploded. Oh. Well, specifically, my... The, uh... Ammo box over here exploded, and it damaged a whole bunch of stuff on that side of the ship. Yeah, that's I also good. had to replace one of my thrusters, uh... At one point. Because of landing. They really need to fix that. When you're landing your ship, it shouldn't do damage to what you're landing. Or what you're landing on. Yeah. Ooh, I got a cargo box that's got 50% damage. I think all my stuff is repaired. Uh, my generators are slightly damaged, 5% and 1%. But other than that, I'm good. figure it out later. I got a cargo box that's got half damage, but I'm not quite sure where it's at. That's because you covered them up. You never know where anything on your ship is. <laughs> well, if I covered them up, they shouldn't take damage. <laughs> but they do. It, it doesn't matter if you cover them up or not. The All the uh, weapons do a radius damage. Ah, interesting. It aims for the core of your ship. If it hits one block, it damages all the blocks in the surrounding area and possibly the secondary blocks in the surrounding that as well, which is how the uh, generators on my ship are damaged even though they're on the interior of the ship. Gotcha. Oh, maybe we should pick up some blue crystals while we're here. Yeah, you can never have too much pentaxid. I'm just going to go ahead and dock to the Leo. Yeah, that's what I'll do. I figure we can, the ores that we need, we can just get on Omicron. Yeah, that's my thoughts. some crystals before we go or I'm looking for some fields if I can land this thing at least uh, once we get the yellow jacket it'll have set docking ports for uh, the shuttles that go with it and it's got a uh, cargo container or a cargo bay that you can dock ships in and just fly out of the door.
I'm glad we used the Spock at least once because I'd have hate to have gone through the trouble of making it and then we never use it. Well, I think we I think we could use it more often. We just we needed something that's got some armament on it. Yeah, um, the shuttles for the uh, Yellow Jacket don't have any weapons on them, but I do have two varieties of them that do. I just didn't have enough stuff to make for the basic. Eventually, we could upgrade one or both of them to uh, armed ones, but sure. the armed ones only have one seat in them, whereas the uh, the unarmed one has three seats and a full, uh, cons the small constructor and everything else. Um, I think the ones with weapons also have, I uh, have a constructor in them, but I think, but the uh, unarmed one has more cargo box space. Love that you can drive a bike a bike on the moon. Yeah, I know. I don't know why they even have the antibiotic ointment because all it does is get rid of gets rid of open wound and a small med kit will do that. Heck, a bandage will do that. Yeah, no kidding, right? I have got 40 of the blue crystals. That ought to be good considering a warp drive can only ha hold uh, 20. The warp drive tank can hold, only hold 20 at a time. Yeah. All right. I'm on the way back. I'll dock with the uh, Leo and... Uh, and we'll get off the moon. Sounds good. I've been going ahead and getting the uh, stuff out of the base, setting it into the uh, into the Leo. Okay. I've got so many 5.8 millimeter ammo. I've almost got 2,500 of it. That's for the assault rifle. Yeah, because I rarely use my pulse rifle, and I uh, you get the ammo from the Xerax. Alright, you need help bringing anything else over? Uh, yeah, just start grabbing stuff out of the, uh, constructor and putting it up here. Okay.
I hate that it uses your jetpack when you're going up an elevator. Man, I don't think I noticed that. You can go up an elevator without jetpack, but it uses up your jetpack when you go up one with it uh, with it on. Putting stuff in the Leo or the uh, Spock? Um, I'm putting the uh, constructor stuff in the Spock. I think that's everything. We didn't really have anything in any cargo boxes over here, did we? Uh, not that I can remember. In fact, I don't think we have any cargo boxes over here. <laughs> yeah, we've just been just using <laughs> the, I was just uh, in the control panel. And there isn't any. Yeah, we've just been using the Spock storage or the uh, Leo's storage for. Uh, cargo storage. Alright, I pulled all the fuel out. Alright. Pretty much just might as well leave the oxygen, huh? Yeah, we got so much of that. And we didn't even put any ammo in our uh, turrets at all. <laughs> I noticed. <laughs> I mean, it was kind of pointless to put them up there in the first place, but I figured it'd look nice. Alright, base is powered down. You and I were doing the same thing. Oh, you right. and I were doing the same thing. <laughs> yeah, I know. Uh, we've got plenty of fuel to make it back to Omicron, so we should be good. I'm in the seat, ready to go. All right, activating thrusters. For some reason, our food processor is damaged. I don't know why. On Leo? Yeah. Weird. I think you got mad while trying to cook something and punched it. Yeah, it was that ratatouille. <laughs> <laughs> All right, heading up into space. It's funny well, how Akua looks giant here, and then when you get into space, it's like itty bitty. Yeah, a little ball. <laughs> I well, guess the non-atmosphere of the moon reflects it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Just imagine if the planets looked that big from Earth. You know, it's funny. I see your ship docked to the outside edge, not on the ship, but running next to it. Huh. Looks like it's on the ship to me. <laughs> You'll have to watch my video. I, uh, I'm, I'm looking at it right now. It's literally on the starboard side of the ship, about 
30 meters away from it. <laughs> wow. <laughs> and we're, uh, when we left the atmosphere of the moon, we apparently have a fire trail. Everything looks normal to me. <laughs> well, hopefully the developers watch our, our little movies and go, hey, maybe we should fix that. <laughs> yeah, no. I love this little rocket ship. It's really, really been useful. Oh, yeah. But we never did put turrets back on this, did we? <laughs> no, we didn't. <laughs> so we're just playing with fire. Uh, in case we run into a uh, drone. Well, the space drones are all dead, and they were over in that asteroid field, so... Yeah. Not a lot of, not a lot of fear there. But the yellow jacket's armed, right? <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, the yellow jacket's got, I believe, eight or nine turrets on it. Sweet. That's like my shuriken. I uh, pulled one off of the uh, workshop. It's called a shuriken. There's a Mark One and a Mark Two. Yeah, I've seen it. Yeah, nice ship. I like it. Good old planet Omicron. Home sweet home. It looks completely empty for a second and then spawns in. Yeah. I don't know why, but I'm having trouble going down with the C button. It's not working properly. This guy was having issues with my F5 for my drone. I think it's because you parked on top of the thruster. <laughs> That's my excuse, and I'm sticking to it. <laughs> well, we should have built little landing pads off to the side. Yeah, but then it won't look as cool. It's all right. <laughs> we got the yellow jacket, and it's got a landing bay and the whole thing, so we're good. Oh, yeah. The, the, the yellow jacket has the whole shebang of everything you could ever want in a base. I'm thinking, where are we? I can't find where our base and all that's right here next to us. Yeah. No. And it looks dark. Well, that's called night. It happens on every planet. Yeah, but the base doesn't look lit up. I see the four lights on top of it. And I am seeing that the landing pad, again, is completely covered by rock. It's not on mine. <laughs> uh... And the trees are back, and the apex plant is back. <laughs> That's funny. I don't see the tree or apex plant or anything. I just yeah. see the landing pad. I'm gonna. I'm actually gonna back out and come back in then. Yeah, more than likely when you do that, the tree and plant will still be there, but the ground will be back to normal. <laughs> uh, this is funny. My chair I was sitting in is encased in rock. The oxygen station is encased in rock. <laughs> oh, 
All right, so I've got both the shuttles. I uh, queued up in the I uh, blueprints, or they they're done. Now I just need some stuff for this I uh, landing platform for the yellow jacket. I literally cannot go out the bottom doors. It will not let me out the bottom doors. Why? Because it's encased in rock. You mean they just won't open, or...? No, I can't go down to the deck. Oh, you mean you, you actually walk on the rock? Yeah, well, I kind of kind of go below it just a little bit. But then it won't let me go down any further. Well, I mean... See, like right now, where do you see me standing? You're floating in the middle of the air. You, you walked, and, and you're floating in the middle of the air. Yeah, I am literally standing on top of the rock. <laughs> and you're jumping up and down through it. <laughs> I'm a land shark. Um, well, I actually just see your head poking through right now. It's kind of funny. It looks like I buried you up to your neck in dirt. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's funny. I don't know why it's doing that, and so... All right, so let's see what happens. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to log out. I'm going to stay right here. You keep an eye on where I'm at. And I'm going to log out, come back in, and see if I fall. Okay. Because you see I'm floating in the air, right? Yeah, you're floating about two and a half, three feet above the, uh, the seat there. Okay, all right. I'm going to log out. Hold on. Coming back in now. Boop. I just fell. Oh, I guess I yeah. thought I fell through the ship. I remember over the glass. Yeah, you, you spawned in and then fell down. Yeah, you're going to have to rocket jump up. No, I, don't, I forget it always turns the jetpack off. And now, no more dirt. <laughs> That's a good thing. Yes. Would hate for you to have to dig your way out of the non-dirt. <laughs> the invisible dirt. I still see the trees, though. Yeah, I figured you would. That's that okay. happens every time I log back in while on Omicron as well. Yeah, they'll get it fixed. So I was... Uh, com Papa Rob commented on my one of my places that... Because uh, I had said something about... Uh, this is going to be game of the year and I'm going to vote for it. And that I can't wait till it's completely finished. And he was like... Um, it's going to be a long time before they finish this game. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, so, the uh, advanced constructor down here is making large fuel packs. I don't know if you did that just now or if that's queued up from before. No, that's queued up from before we left. I didn't figure it'd stay running. Well, we've got a lot of materials in here. Yeah. To the point where I can barely put anything in here. So, um, you want to... Have you got everything you need to for the blueprint for the uh, yellow jacket? Uh, yeah, I, all I have to do is spawn it in. Um, oh. But I was hoping to uh, build the landing platform for it so I have a place to spawn it in where it's flat. Let's uh, Let's build a landing platform right here. Um, down by the base, right where this water, where there's no water. Right over, over right over here where the sand is? Yeah. Yeah, that's what. It, that's exactly where I was planning on putting it. Okay. Um, well, we can stop the production of the packs. I, d I was just doing that because we had Promethium and we needed more large. I say we go ahead and build the landing platform and spawn it in, and we'll do that off camera. All right. Unless people want to see how you build a flat landing platform. Well, like I said, I've already, I've got it spawned in. Like, I've got it set just for the right size for the yellow jacket and everything, so. Oh, you already have it as a blueprint. Yeah. 
Oh, piece of cake then. Well, we'll just go ahead and I'll go up high so I can see it from above. All I got to do is get the uh, concrete blocks, put in the uh, blueprint, and then it should spawn in in like a second. Okay. Well, I will. I'm going to get up above. I'm at the perfect position to watch you spawn it in. So whenever you're ready. Oh, I'm going to have to eat something, though. I don't know why, but this thing isn't actually... Oh, I know why. Because it's full, it can't actually place the blocks anywhere, so it's not making any of them. Oh, uh, okay. You want me to pull yeah. something and put it in my inventory? Uh, I was going to pull some of the Promethium out. We've got so much Promethium still. Okay. I'm sure we could just transfer stuff to a couple of cargo boxes, too. Because there's one cargo box that literally has half full of 50 stacks of oxygen. One cargo box. Yeah, I know. Shouldn't run out of oxygen anytime soon. And I love the way the fact that you can rename the cargo boxes now. Yeah, you can rename anything, so when you go into your control panel, you know exactly what's in what. And yeah. so that you don't have to overwrite it with the auto group. Whenever you add a uh, thing, you can just click the uh, add to group button and, uh, and then pick which group you want to add it to. And uh, if you choose the add to last group, it'll add it to whatever the last group you chose was. So if you add like 50 cargo boxes, you can click like tell one of them add to group cargo boxes. And then you can click the other add to last group click the next add to last group click the next add to last group yeah and it's real quick and easy yeah that's nice i had to queue up 1500 cement blocks <laughs> I'm taking half of the water jugs from down here and moving them up to the advanced constructor up here. Okay. And I'm going to uh, put some crushed dirt up here and start making them here and then take out, remove uh, the extra 500 from down there. Okay. That way we've got two constructors doing it. And if I can get the Leo's constructor working on it, I can do have it going as well. We've got so much crushed dirt. Yeah, we should probably get rid of the crushed earth. 
I mean, I use cement blocks a lot for, you know, landing pads and bases and the like, but I figure we'll just leave the crushed dirt here rather than moving it to the uh, yellow jacket. Yeah, sounds good. You know, I think we ought to take our hover vessel and put it in the uh, docking bay of the Yellow Jacket and use it as our hover vessel whenever we go out anywhere. Yeah, we could. And sorry for those guys listening to my channel. I actually tell him what I'm saying and then I unmute my mic and tell him again. <laughs> I have a noisy family, so I don't want anybody to hear them. Because you forget that it's muted, then you unmute it and say it. Yep. Well, if I had a spot in the house where I could, like, totally record in silence, that would be great, but I don't. Yeah, fortunately for me, I just live in a place with me and a roommate, and my roommate is usually gone Sundays at this time, so. Yeah, it makes it easy then. And my computer's in my bedroom, so even when he's here, he's in his bedroom on his computer, I'm in here on mine, and there's not any extra noise or anything. I wish that they would put some sort of symbol or notification thing on the model of a uh, thing when it's occupied so you don't have to try to use it and see, oh, it's occupied by Captain Adonis. Oh, yeah. When somebody's in something. Especially where you can use the control panel. I've, I've been getting more and more used to just using the control panel rather than running yeah. all over the place. I pulled the pentaxid out that was in there. I figure I'll consolidate it all on the on the ship, and then when we build the yellow jacket, we'll just move everything from Leo to the yellow jacket. Is that the plan? Uh, yeah. Um, I'm trying to replace Jake's tombstone. I. Uh, for the people at home, we figured out why it disappeared. Um, it was, uh, it didn't have a core on it, and items without cores dis disappear after two hours to clear up clutter and the like. So I'm going to have to replace the uh, <laughs> thing with a core on it. And here I thought it was ghosts. Because we ain't afraid of no ghosts. Yeah, we'll just use our drills to take care of them, because they look like proton packs, don't they? They do. It's an updated model. It's a handheld 
one. You don't even need the uh, uh, the actual pack. Okay, it's a little off to the side here. Because for some reason I couldn't place it properly from first person view, but there's the tombstone next to the uh the tomatoes again. All right, now that I've unmuted my mic. Oh yeah, that looks nice. It's not exactly square, but like you said, it works. Yeah, what I had to do, I had to get into my, I had to like uh, position it straight while looking at it in first person view. Then I had to use the drone to try to place it and I had to go way back so I could barely tell where it was on the platform because the tomato here was getting in my way and I didn't want to demolish it and then replace it. And you harvested the tomato, a Jake tomato. Yes, yes, I did. And then I'm making canned vegetables with it. <laughs> canned vegetable of Jake. Hmm. Jake soup. How's it coming on the landing pad? I'm actually checking all of the uh, the concrete blocks now. All right, I'm back on my high perch. <laughs> 